Which is larger? 48 to power 52 or 49 to power 51? A wonderful question with a special method that you should know. Okay. Common method. One word. Only one word. Division. We can divide 49 to power 51 by 48 to power 52. Okay. Successful. Different exponents, different bases. However, this 52 can actually be written as 51 plus 1. So the denominator, 48 to the power 52, can be written as 48 to the power 51, then times 48. Okay, splendid idea. So the numerator can be written as 48 to the power of 51, then times 48. What about the numerator? The numerator stays at its place. 49 to the power of 51. Okay, what are we going to do? Something really wonderful. 51, 51. We get same exponent. However, here appears a 48. We don't want it. We all hate it. So now it should jump out. And then it is 49 to the power 51 over 48 to the power 51, then times 1 over 48. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. So now we get same exponents on the numerator and also on the denominator. Okay, then what shall we do? 49 over 48. To the power of 51. Then times 1 over 48. Of course, a very good. However, this fraction is so ugly that we have to do something on it. 49 is 48 plus 1. So 49 over 48 can be written as 1 plus 1 over 48. It is 1 plus 1 over 48. Then also the power of 51. Then times 1 over 48. Very good. Then what shall we do? Of course, on the base we have 1 plus 1 over 48. On the exponent we have 51. Mm, this 51 is close to 48. However, it is not a nice number. Very unlucky. So what shall we do? What can we do actually? We can write this 51 as 48 plus 3. Then it's going to be and we're right here, okay? 1 plus 1 over 48, also the power of 48, then times 1 plus 1 over 48 to the power of 3, because 48 plus 3 is 51. Of course, don't forget, multiply this one by 40, or by 1 over 48, because we have it here. And focus on this guy. 1 plus 1 over 48 to power 48. Very good. Now I'd like to introduce a function to you. This function. f of x is equal to 1 plus 1 over x also the power of x. Of course, x is greater than 0. This function, f of x, it is increasing. It is an increasing function. And f of positive infinity is e. And the value of the function will be e if x is equal to the positive infinity. 
That means I can write it this way. The limit of 1 plus 1 over x, also part of x, when x tends to infinity, is equal to e. And it is an irrational number approximately equal to 2.718281. Two eight forty five ninety forty five and so on. I don't have any place here. Sorry, e is equal to this. It is of course smaller than three. Obviously, f of x is increasing, and forty eight is smaller than positive infinity. So we can get f of forty eight is smaller than f of positive infinity, because f of positive infinity is e, and e is smaller than three. So f of 48 is also smaller than 3. So that means this section, 1 plus 1 over 48 to power 48 is smaller than 3. Smaller than 3 times this one. This one, what can I do about it? Hmm. Right here. And I have an idea. Look. Because 1 plus 1 over 48, it is greater than 1. So, it is of course smaller than 3 times 1 plus 1 over 48 to the power of 48. So now, this one. Because we know that this is smaller than 3. We've even used it here. So it is of course smaller than 3 times 3 times 1 over 48. 6 times 1 over 48. It is smaller than 6 times 1 over 48. And 6 times 1 over 48, what is it? It is 3 over 16. And 3 over 16 is, of course, smaller than 1. So we've got the ratio of these two numbers. It's smaller than 1. Okay. From this result, we can get forty nine to the power fifty one is smaller than forty eight to the power fifty two. So that means the left hand side is much, much bigger than the right hand side. Okay, mission accomplished. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up for this homemade question and the wonderful steps, the wonderful explanation. Subscribe to me and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.